Uh, now the author will use the Zoom to share his paper. Okay. Uh, okay. Oh, 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 okay. Uh, is, is my voice clear? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, we can hear you. Hello? Yeah? Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, th th thanks, Chair. Thanks for my uh, privacy uh, colleague. Uh, my name is Yi, and uh, today I am glad to share our work, DECO uh, CDR, uh, Deployable Cloud Device Collaboration for Cross Domain Recommendation at CDIR 2012 uh, uh, 24. Uh, here's my outline. I will split my presentation into four parts. So, first, let's see the background. Uh, yeah. Uh, as we all know, we we noticed that uh, uh, cross-domain recommendation, uh, uh, that is CDI, is an important technique for recent recommender systems, uh, especially for those uh, uh, fast expanding commercial platforms. For its uh, feature in alleviating data sparsity and improving uh, uh, recommendation accuracy. However, uh, recently, uh, strict data restrictions. Uh, pose great challenges to CDI in recent years, for example, GDPR. And uh, I think uh, it has two main uh, impacts on the recommender system. While for cloud side, uh, direct data transfer between different service providers is forbidden. While on the other hand, we should also notice that uh, data sharing between device and cloud is also restricted. Uh, for example, uh, the cloud has no uh, right to uh, directly access the local feature on device. So this pose great challenge to privacy CDR artworks. So to address these issues, some recent work have been proposed. Uh, basically, they focus on ranking on X devices, for example, a famous class of work, federated re recommendation. And uh, in those works, uh, cloud service provider act as, as a bridge. Uh, and uh, the basic uh, uh, structure is uh, illustrated in the figure. Uh, we can see that uh, though the device and, and the cloud uh, are collaborative, uh, collaborative for uh, recommending uh, items, but uh, the cloud is only used for gradient and modeling for exchange for device, and uh, then it needs to transfer all item candidates to device for uh, further item ranking. Uh, though uh, this uh, structure design solves the issue of data restriction. However, uh, this is often impractical in real-world application. Uh, from the figure, we can see that uh, to achieve accurate uh, item recommendation, the cloud needs to transmit a lot of item candidates to the device, uh, which is often uh, impractical in real-world because uh, for a commercial uh, platform like TikTok, uh, it has millions of uh, items so transmitting those items to device uh, is rather uh, is rather negative and uh, will also uh, leak the privacy of outside and uh, uh, accordingly it will incur large energy and time cost for example you'll need uh, a lot of time to do ID alignment and then you also need uh, a stable network for gradient exchange for model training so uh, to mitigate those impractical this uh, in this paper we propose DICOS there. Uh, like uh, previous work, we still need to uh, collaborate uh, cloud and device to collaborate with each other. But we split uh, the overall recommendation into two stages. Uh, the first, the cloud will recall some item candidates, and uh, then only the item candidates will be sent to the device for further item ranking. So compare with private. Uh, previous works, the key design insight is that not all item candidates are need to be transmitted to device. Uh, they will first be uh, filtered on cloud and then uh, further re-ranked on device. Uh, next is that we design two effective models uh, on cloud and device to learn from the collaborations. So by doing this, uh, private data on cloud and device can be both utilized without violating data privacy res uh, restrictions. So bearing those in mind, before we dive into the details of model design, first, let's see how we formulate the problem. Uh, uh, as, as before said, uh, we consider two parts in the recommendation, cloud CI for item recall and uh, a device D for item rank. 
Well, for cloud CI, we consider it as a service provider which covers a lot of uh, users. For example, we can treat it as a, a, a current uh, commercial platform like TikTok. Uh, then, it also has a large number of private item pool. Uh, for example, it may be ads or uh, short videos, but it cannot be directly accessed by the device. Well, for device, it has limited interactions with Cloud CI. And uh, on, on, uh, which you also notice that on the device, it has been installed uh, with, an, uh, has been installed uh, a lot of other uh, apps. So we deem it has rich interactions with other clouds, CJ, where I is not equal to J. Uh, as, uh, uh, as before mentioned, local features cannot be directly accessed by Cloud CI either. So, uh, for those two parts, uh, the goal is to realize accurate recommendations for this pair. That is maximizing CTR or CVR for uh, impressed item on D without violating data restrictions. As, private, as the private, previous design intuition for cloud, it is designed to cover the user's preferences with minimum number of items, that which is the filtered item candidates. While for the de device, it is designed to rank the recall items such that the favorite ones appear at the top. So it achieves a higher uh, click probability. So bearing those uh, goals in mind, here comes the overall design for achieving the goal. Uh, actually, uh, since we uh, uh, split the recommendation uh, phase into two parts, so we design two models on cloud and device separately. While on cloud, we design a meta recall model to perform item recall. It learns from on cloud user samples as well as these feedbacks, so it can achieve accurate item recall. While on device, we design a meta cross domain recommendation models. In this model, it uh, not only learns from the samples of a uh, device, but uh, also uh, for C CI and also but also learns from the samples for, uh, from CJ for on device item ranking. Uh, for, easy, uh, for ease of understanding, we start from the architecture of device model. Uh, as shown in the right figure, it contains uh, two main components, a generalized feature encoder and a metric-based re-ranking model. Well, for generalized feature encoder, it learns generalized user feature representations from on device uh, samples and then the learned feature feature representations will be sent to the uh, re ranking model to re rank the sent uh, item candidates. First, let's start from the feature encoder. Uh, GFE uh, is also a VE based feature encoder, uh, which utilizes unsupervised learning to uh, learn user uh, to learn the ve vector to represent the user preferences. And we also use elbow as a loss function to get the, the, the res, uh, reconstruction. However, in practice, we notice that there's a weakness of uh, uh, vanilla uh, VAE because the local positive samples are often not enough to learn a robust uh, user representation. So we propose to reutilize the ignored uh, negative samples to facilitate the training. Uh, naturally, we change the elbow into a uh, pairwise form. In this form, we add a re reconstruction uh, part from the negative sample, which is V hat. And we also add a distance control parameter, which is the third part of the uh, loss function, where lambda represents the weight of distance between Z of positive samples and negative samples. The design of this loss function is, very, uh, is straightforward. We only we not only care about the reconstruction loss of, of the uh, of the uh, encoder, but also we want to broaden the distance between positive and negative uh, user presentations. This offers us a better uh, learning results of users' preferences. Based on the result of feature encoder, uh, then is the then we design a metric based re ranking model. Uh, it contains two steps. First, it will get the embedding vector from meta embedding learner. And uh, based on the meta embedding learner outputs, uh, it scores the item based on ensemble Z from GFE. Well, at uh, step one, 
uh, for meta embedding learner. Uh, it learns a function phi to embed the item based on the existing samples. The learning intuition is straightforward. Uh, it learns uh, to embed the items from new cloud based on the learn cloud. So this learning function can be applied to the cloud CI from the learn samples of cloud CJ where I is not equal to J. So based on the meta, uh, meta embedding learner, uh, we propose the similarity, uh, similarity metric to score the atom. Basically, we sum a K item to extract uh, Z from GFE. Compare with raw samples, these, uh, they can be treated as a better representation of user's preferences. And based on Z, uh, we use average probability, which is also the posterior uh, of Z uh, as the score. When the uh, uh, item of CI uh, achieves higher, score, it means it has a, more, a higher similarity score with the user preferences. Uh, as a result, it will achieve a higher uh, impression top, uh, position. Uh, then we move to the architecture of cloud model compared with uh, device model uh, is much more straightforward. Uh, we use a multi-head attention neural network with two sequential parts. Well, at step one, it learns from on cloud samples. It's just a very uh, general uh, recommender's uh, neural network. And then uh, we propose a neural network to learn from device feedbacks based on the first part output. So for, let's see the first first step. Uh, the first step, the uh, uh, cloud model will learn from general user samples on cloud and uh, it's general. Uh, you can use other structures to to, for, uh, to fulfill this part. Uh, it's a very general, uh, so we just use log loss to train this model. While at step two, we frozen the first part and uh, design a new uh, part of model to learn useful information from feedbacks of devices. This is because the on-device features cannot be direct, uh, directly accessed, so we design a latent vector embedding for each user. And we also use uh, item position embedding to learn the differences between recall and rerun. So we use two, those two uh, uh, vectors as well as the ranking subnetwork B. Uh, yeah, it's parameters to capture uh, the uh, user's preference indirectly from the feedbacks of device. After the training, uh, we use the the two subnetworks will be combined together, and uh, the output of the second uh, network, which is also which is the subnetwork B, will act as the recalled item sets and will be sent to the device for further rank. And uh, after the rerank and the user interactions, the feed, uh, the feedbacks will be utilized by the, by the cloud, and this form a learning closed loop. So this is basic, uh, so so this is basically our uh, DICOS CDR design, and we come to the uh, experiments. We conduct both uh, offline and online experiments. Well, for offline experiments, uh, we select three data sets for for test. Uh, two are public data set, and one is our uh, private work in uh, Triple AI uh, 2012, uh, 2021. Uh, for baselines, we select two classes, which is uh, cloud-based and collaborative. Well, for cloud-based method, uh, it refers to the centralized recommendation where no device data is included in the model, and only the target domain is included. While for uh, a collaborative recommendation, data in all domains are inclu uh, included, and the model are uh, deployed on Flower. Uh, uh, a very famous and easy to deploy a federated uh, platform. Uh, for, first, let's see, let's take a look at uh, uh, the ablation study of the device model and the cloud model. Uh, first, let's see the reconstruction loss and the ranking comparison with Ken. Uh, well, compared with the vanilla uh, VE, we can see that at first the reconstruction loss is much higher. This is because uh, negative samples are included, but when the training samples are added, we can see the recon uh, reconstruction loss is greatly reduced. But compared with Ken, we can see that uh, using the uh, Z from uh, GFE offers much more 
uh, much better uh, performance com uh, compared with uh, vanilla uh, KN. This is because it has more uh, capability of representing Hello? users' preferences Hello, can you than me? just the raw samples. Hello, can you hear me? Uh, okay. Maybe, maybe uh, fast, uh, maybe one minute, okay? Oh, okay, okay. Oh, so so let's uh, take a look at uh, the, the point uh, to, uh, of our online evaluation. Uh, we uh, we conduct about a three week online uh, A-B test. This is a real test. So there's a, uh, an interesting finding that we, we all know that uh, cross domain data is useful, but uh, as, as we test, they have different uh, useful needs. So uh, when your resources are limited, uh, you need to carefully select which cross domain data will be utilized to facilitate your uh, recommender system. And uh, we live uh, in our future work. We live it in our future work. And uh, here we come to a final summary. Uh, uh, basically, we propose a practical framework, DAGO CDR, to realize DR in practice. While in DAGO CDR, we split the recommendation process into a two stage collaboration. And we also designed two elaborate models on device and cloud. Uh, then we conduct extensive online and offline experiment to validate the effectiveness of our DECO CDR. And uh, this uh, recommender system has already been deployed in the real world as uh, one of our important parts in our online uh, as a platform. Uh, thanks, uh, uh, thanks uh, uh, Chair. Thanks for my uh, prox. Uh, here, uh, here's our work. And uh, here's time for question and answer. Thank you.